Hello, hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. If you missed our live stream celebrating 1,000 videos on the channel, well, you missed out. <laughs> <laughs> but we did uh, do a little bit of hunt, uh, a little bit of call a while during that episode, and we made our way from over here all the way through this lookout post and this lookout post, swung around and grabbed this outpost and this outpost, and now we're ready to continue on our journey throughout the map. So for today's hunt, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head over to this lookout point here, see what the situation is, and then depending on how much time we have left once that's done. We'll kind of decide if we're going to make it up to this one over here. Loadout for today, as always, is going to be our Malmer 7mm for the class 4 to 9 animals, our Ranger 243 for the class 2 to 3 animals, overpowered weapon, the 410 pistol for any birds that we come across, and the Sunberg 454 as our self defense pistol against anything that might decide to run up and attack us. And I was glad I had that on me because a kangaroo decided it wanted to come up and attack me last episode during the live stream and I was able to just kind of blast it in the chest. That was very convenient. We got a sandbar deer fleeing over here. I might be able to take a shot if it slows down. Uh, bad angle. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get a shot on him. Maybe. Nah, it's, I'm... Not, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to break myself of taking bad shots like that, so we'll just we'll let him go. I, I didn't really have a chance a good chance of getting a shot on him, and it would take forever for me to go find him. So we're gonna keep walking off in this direction. Actually, since this is right here, we'll actually go there. Figure out what that is. It's probably just a hunting stand, and then we'll start making our way over to this lookout point over here. But unlike the live stream, I can actually pause the video and bring you guys back when something interesting is happening. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. All right, so I spaced out and shot an axis deer, forgetting that I was recording. It's down over there, but there should be a hog deer running around over here somewhere. So I figured I'd bring you guys back just on the off chance that I'm able to take a shot at it. But I don't see it. Oh, there's a foul. Oh, let's try to take a, get a shot at this guy then. Very nice. See anything? All right, so I guess we'll grab this. I guess we'll grab these guys here. Nice little Axis deer. He's a gold, so obviously we're gonna take. We're gonna tax him. Uh, let me bring up my spreadsheet. I keep forgetting to update my score to check my scores as I go through these. Our best so far is 171.71. So we'll just uh, keep on keeping on, and then we'll go grab this deer, fallow deer over here that we shot. Fallow deer that we the best fallow deer we have is 214.42. But before we get too far into that, let's just double check this field here and make sure that there isn't anything that we want to take a shot at. Doesn't seem like it. So we'll go grab this guy, see what his score was. Just a silver. We definitely have better than that. <laughs> let's keep moving on towards our next destination, which. I'm not really sure what it is. There's a hunting stand right here, so I'm guessing this might actually be some kind of point of interest. Okay, well, you don't you don't usually see this. Two hunting stands basically right next to each other, but I mean, what are you gonna do? That's what they got. Take a quick look around the hunting area just to see if there's anything. Thought I saw parentheses there for a second. Uh, just take a quick look around. There was a fox nearby, but I'm pretty sure she ran off. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Let's go ahead and continue on towards the lookout post. We got crocodiles over here. Get a shot out with the pistol. I don't know why I was sitting here. With, sitting, I don't know. I don't know why I'm sitting here with the. Uh, so 695, 760 is the gold for the. Is that a weird? Is that a different color? Yeah, that color looks weird to me. It's just the bottom, though, right? I can't tell. Yeah, it's got to just be the bottom. So let's take a look around here and see if there's any other crocodiles sitting around. 817. It's a guaranteed, well, not a guaranteed gold. It's it's into the gold range. 
Uh, but he's hidden by trees and stuff, so... Just look around a little bit more. 703, no. Fortunately, <coughs> excuse me, unfortunately, doesn't seem like we're going to get much in the way of quality animals here. Don't see any more. So yeah. Six, yeah, none of these guys are really good potential here. Except for this guy. Spending all my money taxing these animals. It's, re it's really starting to it's really starting to eat into my ability to do things. I mean, I guess not. I mean, I know I still have like 100,000 cash, but it's like I I'm, I'm trying to build up my money, not spend all of it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. We'll walk around with the pistol here for a second, just in case I come across any more that are close. Because I don't want to, uh... I don't want to shoot with my rifle unless I have to. Mythical. And he's aggressive. Oh, I think I screwed him up. That one fleeing, or what is it doing? Guess you can't hit him in the water. Oh, that one eventually died, but I don't think we got a vital shot on him, so even if he was a diamond, he's not going to be now. Can I hit this guy? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he was definitely a gold. Eight forty-nine. So gold for for diamond for these guys is one fifteen. Any more? I mean, this one's dying, but he's taking forever to do it. <clears throat> <laughs> this guy's taking his sweet time going down. Come on. I don't want to shoot him again because I know I've shot him twice already. And I guess it doesn't really matter. He's not going to be... Eh, we'll just kill him. He's not going to be anything worth it, so... We might as well just take him out. The fact that he took so long to die means we didn't get a vital shot, so... He's going to be what he's going to be. Oh, come on. You guys are killing me with the technicalities of this water sometimes. All right, what is this? A bronze. So he wasn't even a gold anyways. We'll make some of our money back. That's fine. All right, well, uh, let's just look around real quick uh, before we go moving on to the next area. Don't see anything particularly interesting. I mean, I hear noises, but I don't see anything that's catching my attention. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, uh, let's just check the other side over here real fast. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that we're really trying to shoot at shoot at here. I don't know. I feel like as soon as I press the pause button, something will show up, and then I'll be like, oh, I wish I hadn't pressed the pause button. So, I don't know. And then we're going to go ahead. We got, a, we got a couple of golds out of this. I guess it's kind of greedy to expect a diamond to pop up after all of that. We pretty much cleared out everything that was reasonable to clear out there. Took several trophies. Oh. Nexus deer. Is it all females? Sometimes it's like that. 
Uh, there's a male over there. 210 for the Axis deer is... I'm sorry, 210 meters away. <laughs> he doesn't even, he's not even, uh, he's not even gold potential. So we'll let these guys go and we'll just move on to the next one. So yeah, go ahead and pause now because I've spent enough time wandering around aimlessly on camera. So see you guys in a second. Okay, well, I don't remember shooting any of these. When did I shoot these? Oh, were these the ones we shot way over here and they ran all this way and died? Okay. <laughs> I don't remember shooting these. So he would have been... A, he was a silver anyways. Would not have turned out to be all that great. There's a... There's... Oh. Can I get these guys? I don't think it's going to let me get them from here like this. Oh, well. I'd like to get those magpie goose up there, but it doesn't seem like they're flying low enough for me to actually hit them. I don't even know if the, uh, I don't even know if the regular shotgun would be capable of hitting them that far up. Maybe. Maybe. But I don't have my other pistol here, so there's that. the only one who thinks that these lookout towers are just a trifle bit too tall. I mean, look how many levels we have to climb up to get up this. You know, I, I think this is, I think this here is high enough. I mean, really, come on. You guys are kill, they're killing me with this. You got a nice view, though. Unfortunately, everything over here is outside of our render, outside of our render distance, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, go climb up here, unlock things, and then go all the way back down again. Yep. Okay. Open sesame. Oh, it's outside. Open sesame. I like these ones that have the little radio antennas on top. Don't ask me why. I just do. All right. So. Oh, there's an outpost over here, which is annoying because I was already over here. <sighs> I, I, I don't like that they don't open these up, but whatever. So, I mean, I guess we, I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I should probably run over here so I can go over here like this. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I guess either way, I'm kind of... Uh, you know what I can do? <clears throat> I'm going to run over here like this. And then I'm going to fast travel over here and just hop on the ATV and get to this one. And then we can run, go over to that one. Let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. Can't backfire in any way, right? Got ourselves a red deer over here. A little bit far away, but that's all right need to adjust my zero so that we're actually within the proper range. I am actually getting fairly decent at remembering to do that. Okay. I do have the perk that allows me to uh, estimate distance better. It gives me a narrower range, but of course, if it never uh, if it never stops highlighting whatever I'm looking at, I can't get an update, which is kind of stupid. They'll update the health, but they won't update the distance as you're moving closer to it. All right, I'm going to assume that I'm close enough, and we're going to put a round right there. Should be in the lung, right? Yep, there we go. All right, I'll go harvest him, or I'll go check him out, and then we'll run up the hill there. Don't worry, I will bring you back. Oh. Thought we were going to get a feral pig, but if he's behind... Ooh. Man, maybe we'll take that one. Yeah, we got that one. I would have liked to have gotten another feral hog. But I think it's on the other side of the little ridge there, as usual. So, yeah. Let me go find all of these various little things, and I'll bring you back in a second. And here's our red deer over here. 
I don't remember what his ratings were, but yeah, we got him right in the long. So we'll take the cash for that. We definitely did drop that hog deer over here, so we'll run off in this direction and see if we can find the body for that. Well, they just keep on coming here. She went down immediately. Uh, feral pigs, class four. Don't know if I'm gonna get a chance at whatever it is over here. I saw a noise, but I don't see any movement, and they were supposed to be fleeing, so where did they go? I'm guessing they were on the other side of the hill. Always seems to be the way. So we got this here. So this is our hog deer that we took out. Then we'll run over, grab that fox, and move on with our journey. Little silver. Not too shabby, but not great either. Well, I heard a noise over here as I was about to pick up that fox, but I don't know what it was. And for whatever reason, the button I pressed to uh, check out this... Oh. Feral pig. Any others? Uh, a hog deer. I mean, I'm not really trying to just grab any pig that just happens across my path. I can do that in a grind on my own time. So let's... uh. This was just a little silver female, not too shabby. And since we kind of got drawn up away over here anyways, we'll uh, we'll grab this, head over here, and then after that, I think I'm going to cheat a little bit <laughs> and hop onto an ATV and just kind of grab these so that we can quickly knock them out. Well, this turned out to be an actual point of interest. So let's go see what's in here, and then we can move on. Up the stairs, up the stairs. What is this? Stonefather Mountain. Standing 250 meters high, Stonefather Peak has an imposing presence in the area. While formidable and intimidating to us humans, a great amount of animals and insects make its cracks and crevices their home. Very cool. It is a very cool looking mountain though. I like it. And here we are at the outpost. We will uh, we'll unlock it real quick. We'll grab the ATV and just quickly run our run our way kind of backwards. Since the way the map ended up working out, kind of took me out of the out of the the, the directions and stuff that I like to go. So we're just gonna we're just gonna catch up a little bit using the tools provided. Since I clearly can't fast travel to the one that's not unlocked yet, we're just gonna do it this way. So where's my little sh uh, oh that's right I was a gotta go in here for the shop and you gotta open up the doors here get into the thing here go into the garage the, gar the garage thank you and request our ATV and then we find our ATV and then we drive our ATV so first up we're gonna go we're just gonna so we're just, I'm just for, I'm only gonna use the ATV for this part we're gonna swing through here and grab that and then probably fast travel back here and walk down that way. So, where is our point? Mm, can I swing through here? Uh, yeah, but it wasn't exactly the best way to go. <laughs> I could follow the road, but I don't want to, and hopefully I don't regret this. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, We'll grab some. We'll grab some of these as we go. Uh, uh, that. Yep, that. And then back up on here. And then we can kind of, sort of take the road the rest of the way. Oh, unless we do that. All right. Well, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me fumble my way through this. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Oh. And then I can crash. Uh, come on, come on, come on. There's a point of interest over here. So this is cool. Alright, we'll just hop off here and grab it as quick as we can. <laughs> we're, visiting, we're visiting the Battered Peak. What does this have to say? Uh, 
Okay. Battered Peaks is aptly named because of its shape and peculiar location. Count caused by countless millennia of erosion, the lonely mountain seems to have been abandoned by its kin to live a life of cursed solitude. Yet another cool little mountain. I kind of like it. All right, we'll hop back on here. Our next destination is going to be this one here. So let's get ourselves turned around that way. And it looks like we can probably go straight down this way. Come on. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's so wet. It's so wet. Ugh. It insists on slamming me into the trees and rocks and everything on my way down. Come on. Get me to the road. Get me to the road. No, 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 no. There we go. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. This is probably just going to be a hunting stand. Oh, I didn't realize that was a rock. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Come on. Just going to get through these trees. One more little thing. Uh, but when we see these, we gotta stop so we can get the... So we can get the thing, the uh, need zone. Oh, come on. Why'd they make it space? Everything else is E to enter and exit things, and they make this one thing space. All right, what is this? Getting stuck in the trees. Par for the course. All right, what is this? Hunting stand? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I need to drive all the way over here. And I'm not going to make you watch a kilometer of this. So, I'll be back in a second. Alright, we are here at the outpost. That will be enough of the ATV for today. So, let's go ahead, unlock this, and then we'll fast travel back over to the one that we unlocked before. And make our way to the southeast. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so we're hopping back up to, yeah, this one here. And then we'll swing around the lake here, grab this point of interest, swing around, and probably finish over there. So let's go ahead and remove that waypoint. We'll do another waypoint. Well, yeah, we'll place a waypoint there, and then we'll swing around. Yeah, let's do it like that. I have to say that that's some dirty, rotten luck right there. And I only say that because, of course, it's on the other side of the big lake that we need to go around to get to it now. So <laughs> I'm going to run, go grab that, and then we'll swing around and come grab that. Uh, let's just double check and make sure there's nothing else on this lake. Um, doesn't seem like it. So, yeah, I'll swing around the lake here, grab that point of interest, and then we'll go to the mountain. All right, I got some Bantang up over here. The Bantang are super easy to kill. We're just going to run at them and see what we can get done. Hope for the best. I already have a gold Bantang. I got it during one of my grinds. So all we have left on this map are the Stubble Quail and... Oh. are the Stubble Quail and the Magpie Goose, each both of which are uh, available on other maps. So I'm not really that concerned with trophy animals at this point. No, it's still not. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another one there. That's right, we'll take that one out with the rifle. The Bantang seemed to be much easier These guys go down much easier, or at least they have been. Let's put another one in it. All right. Not really sure if that was a gold or not. We wait. Why did it tell me? I thought it said my shot placement was, or my shot number, my, my number of shots was bad. I'm pretty sure I only hit it twice, didn't I? I don't know. Heard crocodiles over here too, so maybe we'll get. Ooh, is he aggressive? Ooh, he's aggressive. I like it when they get aggressive. Oh, come on! Don't pretend like you're gonna fight me and then run away. Lame. 
That's annoying when they do that. Don't pretend like you're going to fight me and then you run away. Thought you were going to make life easy for me. All right, let's see how we did on this Bantang here. Another gold. Uh, yeah, I already have a bunch of gold already, but we can update our score at least. Uh, 110 versus... 133, so this isn't even the best one I've gotten so far. <laughs> All right, well, we'll move on. I don't, I don't, uh, I mean, I guess we did kill that crocodile. We had to put extra rounds into him to get the job done, but it's dead. I can see it floating back over here. So we'll grab that, and then hopefully we can quickly finish out this episode, because we are approaching the 26 minute mark. 854 versus a we need a thousand fifteen for a diamond don't foresee us finding oh it's footprints <laughs> oh okay so what was this guy 739 and i didn't hit anything interesting hit him three times and they were all pretty much in the butt so sorry guy This one's aggressive, but I'm not particularly interested in fighting him. I'm not a level six anyways. So I'm going to run off to this point of interest over here. Hopefully it is another point of interest, and then we can go to the outpost and call it an episode. So be back in a second. Well, we got a mythical crocodile here. It's only up 970, though, so it's only going to be a gold at best. Oh... Trying to bring it down faster. I don't think I hit it the second time, so we should be fine. I wasn't trying to go after another crocodile. I'm really trying to hurry up and get over to these waypoints over here, but when I see a level eight mythical, it's kind of hard to pass that up. My understanding is is that the more of these big ones you take out, uh, thousand fifty three. Uh, yeah, we got to take this guy. I hope I have the penetration to get this. Yeah, I think we got him. That might be a diamond. Uh, I don't have the money for it. I mean, I do. I do have the money to tax him. I'm, I'm being cheap. I'm just being cheap. That's all it is. I'm being super, super cheap. All right, what do we got? So, because I already know that this guy's going to be a big one, and I don't really have a lot of space in my lodge for crocodiles anyways, I'm going to wait and go grab this guy. We'll tax him. Because, like I said, I'm being cheap. Okay, so I'm going to say that the odds of him being a diamond at level 8 are pretty small. So, I'm not getting my hopes up. But, we'll see. Uh, I had a feeling it was going to do that. Alright, well, I'm not even going to bother taxing him. Well, hold on. Is he better than anything else that I have? What's the current croc I have? Like for, ooh, he's better by a lot. So I guess we will tax him. 901.12. We'll tax him and put him in the lodge and make our way over to... I was really hoping he was going to be a diamond, but the more I was thinking about it as I was walking over there, I was like, oh, he was only a level 8, so the chances of him actually making it a diamond... I don't even know if it's possible for level 8s to make it a diamond, so who knows. Anyways, on we go. And they got a nice little porta potty next to this one. <laughs> Visit Mount Matron. Mount Matron is the highest volcanic plug in the region, created as a magma created as magma hardened within the vents when she was an active volcano. Although she has a volcanic past, today she is mostly known for her comforting characteristics and keeping a comforting eye on the animals and the people that seek refuge in her shade. So another. Thing popped up over here so we'll swing down over here and grab that on the way it's probably just a hunting stand and then we'll grab the outpost okay here we are in the lodge we did end up going back to that outpost came back here plopped a couple of things down we got our two biggest crocodiles here on the stands right there a couple more crocs over there on the wall mounts here we're quick rapidly filling out our wall in here and as I said, this is going to be our Emerald Coast room as opposed to our Verhonga Savannah room down at the end in the room back over there. So, 
Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to more viewers. The more people we can get along for the ride, the more fun it's going to be for everybody. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Those, who, those people who decide to become channel members will get early access to all of my videos, so click that join button just below your channel viewer so you can check out the list of perks that will become available to you depending on the tier that you choose, should you choose to decide to become a supporter of the channel. Again, thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you for the next one.